episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah, and today we are going to pull out that engine and see what happened to it, hopefully. So let's dive in and kick it off from there. Okay, we back at it. So I uh, got the starter out got the alternator disconnected um i have the 90 amp alternator on here uh 87 or actually 86 through well 82 to 86 has a different plug so you might want to grab an adapter if you're doing that conversion but uh moving on Got the bolts out for the transmission. Got the starter out, I put that aside. Organized the bolts, um, which is pretty simple because all of the bolts are the same except the two all the way at the top. Those two are shorter than the rest of them. All of the other bolts are same length and diameter. Um, so if you have a different length on the bottom bolts, Nine times out of ten, I'm pretty sure it's been replaced. So, kind of keep that in mind. But anyway, um, so next, uh, I have to take and disconnect the motor mounts to the funk lock right there. And the factory one over here. I got some polys that are going in. Um... Also, we have to take loose the um, oil cooler lines. So that'll be coming off in just a second. And yes, we're gonna lift this bad boy out. I'm excited. Get it on the uh, engine stand and take it apart, see what really, really happened. I know something happened in number four, but you know, I wanna see how bad everything is. And depending on what's wrong with it, I will be repairing so it's gonna be fun okay so we got these lines off actually uh, purchased a long time ago a socket specifically for these and it's a 24 millimeter yep 24 and it works perfect so make sure when you pop that off you get the o-rings top and bottom side make sure they don't drop if they do drop make sure you pick them up and that's pretty much about it so last but not least we have to unplug these motor mounts and we should be good to go okay so we had to loosen a couple of other things power steering line um move this out of the way got to be careful those steel braided lines will stab you um this is my power steering line that I loosen. Some something that I did a long time ago because this thing was always leaking. So I made a steel braided version um, from a shop that I go to. But anyway, um, so moved the lines and stuff out of the way over here. Disconnected the motor mount there. On this side, I removed the bolt. Well, that one's kind of stuck. Um, but, you know, gonna remove that. Uh, gotta remove the ground, the alternator, which I did previously. And last wire is the distributor. So this one's a little beat up, more or less. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we did to the radiator. We're gonna put two different color pieces on here so I can basically um, plug it in instead of having to cut the wires. So we're gonna do that. Um, I'm probably gonna start from back here. So as I get it untangled from all of this mess but yep so 
I will do that um, and unplug it and we should be good to go. All right, so we got her strapped up. Just got to wiggle the transmission loose off of the engine and she should be up and out before you know it. So uh, let me get to that and uh, we'll take her from there. She's looking good. I'm gonna take her up nice and slow and make sure I don't uh, yank anything out and I should be good to go. Okay, so engine is out, tranny's still looking good. There is oil everywhere. Whew, uh, which is pretty much besides the point right now, but yeah, hmm, very, very dirty. Well, there's gonna be some cleaning, uh, Put on to this anyway so now that the engine's out time to get it done and speaking of the engine it's pretty rough cylinder number four has no comments to add at this moment don't know when the hell this shot out so missing that um hmm and also yeah i'm interested to rip this apart and see what's what it's gonna be exciting so yeah so let's get this on the stand and take a look at some things but first i'm going to take off the pressure plate flywheel take all of that off and then put the engine on the engine stand that'll work a lot better all right let's take a look at the other side before we get that done Whew. jesus what a murder scene. You could bet these are no good. But anyway, all right, so let me do that and we'll take it off from there. Okay, she is out and on the engine stand. So we're gonna get her inside. We're gonna tear into her, uh, starting with the head and working our way down. I'm very interested to see what happened to piston number four. Um, I've seen some posts where people have actually modified this uh, water cap here to flow water out to keep cylinder number four cool. Um, for some reason, because of the design, this is the first cylinder to overheat. So just keeping a mental note of that and uh, yeah be able to do something i'm sure but um yeah so let's bring it inside and we'll start taking it apart okay first things first we're gonna drain all of the uh fluids in the motor that meaning oil and whatever water's left over in this guy and whatever power steering fluids in there so we're gonna turn the engine sideways so we're gonna pop off the drain plug and get started all right, that is a good amount of oil. Oh, gotta slow that wind down. No. But anyway, so we're gonna start disassembling some things on this motor. I'm gonna take this guy off. I'm going to take um, the AC components off the alternator and water pump belt off um start working on the head get that uh that guy off and see what the true damage is 
So I will be back. Okay, so rip the head off. Everything looks good here. We're gonna paste her back together and uh, get her back in. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so the real deal, uh, first off, let's talk about the head gasket. Um, I actually reused this head gasket, which is a big no-no for a multitude of reasons. This being one of them. Okay, so this is cylinder number four. All fine, a little seepage uh, of compression. Here, cylinder number three, big blowout. Okay, that's, that's making noise this way towards the manifold, making you think you have a turbo manifold leak and you actually don't. Uh, same deal here and a little bit over here. Now, if we flip it over, you could see it was doing the exact same thing on these three cylinders, but not number four. Okay, so number four was doing all of the work. That's probably why this one got damaged. Now, pertaining to the damage, all right, all of these look perfectly fine. This one's got a couple nicks in it. I'm going to see if you guys can pick that up. A couple nicks. But cylinder number four, there's a gap there. Okay. And we rubbed off some piston on a cylinder wall. And it's not that bad. It can be polished out. But I might go 20 over on this one just to give it some fresh walls to seal to. But I'm going to rotate the engine so you can see the that section of the piston and kind of take it from there. Okay, so if you look here, you can see a nice gap. And I did this a second ago. And you put a light down there. You can actually see past the piston ring. So take my word for it uh that's the issue also um again this happened in a good way so to speak um you know everything's savable there's no hole in the block 31 pounds of boost and all i got was a hot spot that's actually pretty good so um of course, we're not gonna do that again, but <clears throat> if you look here, the actual block is crispy. So we're definitely gonna get this resurfaced and I'm gonna replace uh, this piston and maybe the one that has the tap marks on it. I don't know where that came from, but uh, let's check out the head and see what's what with that. Okay, so we are at cylinder number four. And it's looking pretty good. A little rough on the water passages. Um, boom, boom, boom. So this is cylinder number four. This was making all the all of the uh, oil consumption. Then cylinder number three, either that's a crack or carbon deposit, which I will take a flathead to it and check. But up here you can see the blowout from the head gasket. And again, that is definitely my fault this is spillage of oil that's recent so i know this one wasn't consuming anything but yep and then this head was previously shaved so i'm not going to shave it again i'm just going to get a new head hey hey uh welcome back um definitely my bad i almost forgot to record uh once you start tearing into this thing it's 
so simple to pull apart and put back together um but update we got the timing chain cover off of course as you can see ac compressor off alternator power sting pump all three belts water pump um distributor off of the head uh my oil filter relocation kit has been unscrewed um yeah we don't have much left uh checking everything out as far as timing chain tensioner springs you know stuff like that and only thing i see that has an unusual heavy almost destructive type wear is this guy here okay this guy has the same coating that this has on it and as you can see this thing is kind of shiny a little bit chromed out if you will and uh, that's definitely no good i'm going to replace that but i believe that is uh part of the reason why uh this had no screw is because it fell out this chain was moving back and forth and extra tight and a little little off so long story short um good thing i stopped and pulled the motor apart um because of that screw being gone so uh definitely gonna put that back together once we get to that plateau but um yep just got a little bit more to go uh, i'm gonna take the oil pan off the pickup tube off the pump off then uh I might take this guy out um this actually has o-rings uh behind it and you know it's a strong possibility it could be leaking after all of these years so um definitely gonna do that um probably change this sensor to something a little bit more updated so i can have a digital readout of the oil pressure besides the factory unit um so gonna pull that off also going to take this uh, water neck off. Um, it goes all the way to the back of the block over to this area. And I'm gonna see if one, I can uh, clean it. It's a little rusted out there. So clean it out, um, get it cleaned up along with the block and everything. I'm gonna take these pins out, basically getting the block ready for the machine shop. Um, I'm, I'm just basically going to get this thing cleaned up and sent back to me. I'm also gonna have it hot tanked. So all of the freeze plugs are gonna get replaced and uh, this engine will be pretty much new. Also, I would like to get this uh, surface resurfaced. So it'll have a good mating surface to plug to. And yeah we should be good to go so stay tuned we're gonna knock it out okay so after picking at it for a little bit of time the verdict is it is a crack so um another reason why i'm going to get a new head um this one is done. If you could. You can see it a little better. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that real good, but it is definitely cracked. So that's cylinder number three. And the rest of the cylinders look good. So what I'm going to end up doing is stripping all of the valves, valve springs, retainers, rocker assembly cam out of this head. And uh, just save it. Good parts, good pieces. Never know when they'll come in handy. So that's what's going to happen with this head. And yeah, that sucks. Okay. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon for updated notification, and I will see you next episode.